I think it's the biggest story by a mile. Other, no one's talking about it. It is, and I, I think that's why we should bring it up. And it's the Craig Monroe story that is really uh, shocking. Y you know what? It's shocking, and it's not shocking at the same time. And we'll tell people before we start giving the background on it what it actually is, and that is that when he was in the minor leagues in Port Charlotte, this is in the late 90s, made it up to the Tigers, I think, in the like 2003 or so. Yeah, yeah or yeah. so, and he was on Texas before that. He stayed with a family, a white family, not that that matters, and um, he was, they had a 12-year-old daughter, and the parents, who got some, as they used to say in the I Love Lucy, some splaining to do, let him stay apparently in the same room, him being about 20 and she being 12, and she finally, how many years later now, 25 years later, is it Instagram? Yeah. And, and, you know, just just said, whoa, he, he raped me. He molested me. He's a manipulator. He's a liar. My parents let him stay with me. He, you know, and, and one thing after another, Th that that's bad enough. That's tragic. Just just, just to just to to point it, this out, because she's the one that said this. She said her parents considered him family. And she says, really, sounds weird, but that's what the story is. You the parents weren't trying to encourage anything like this. They were He's 20, naive. she's 12, and they're in the same bedroom. Give me a break. That's pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. Pretty much asking for it. But she's come out, and it was, but it's beyond that. It's that then, and this is the other thing, she, he, he sustained the relationship. When he made it to the Tigers, he passed her around yeah. as a prostitute to his friends, including... Joel Zamaya, and she mentions a bunch of names in there. Yeah. And even though it's speculation, and none of the newspapers have touched it. I don't know if the, the ticket. Well, why is that. no one talking about it? I, I don't well, understand this. I think it's coming. I think they had to check sources, possibly. But at the moment, there isn't a single story about it when you Google. Well, it. But uh, he's off the air since June 9th. Right. Right. Sure, right. but okay, she just, she just made time. these allegations. I, I think the paper, whomever is going to do the story, which they should be working on it, wants something to back her story up because she said she filed a police report, right? But he's not working for the he's, he's sure, off the Sure, that story's been out there, that's, yeah. But and that's, that's, and there has not, to be a reason for that. And he's not responding because yeah. people have his number. The newspapers have his number. They call him, and he's not responding. So he's in some type of hiding. I tell you. Well, this, he's not totally hiding because he's blocking people on Twitter. But, I mean, you could report that there is an accusation being made. We don't have enough information to well, you determine its veracity, but to just say he's off the air, call him. Yeah. That's ridiculous. All, all the background, although well, there's no corroboration, true, but all the background indicates that there's certainly something here because nobody's commenting on it. They're all referring it to Monroe. Monroe is not commenting on it, and I don't think the authorities have found him yet. Yeah. You want to see the video that she put out yesterday? The accuser? Yeah, I, I guess we pretty well covered the crime. Might as well see what she posted most recently. With the hashtag surviving Craig Monroe. This will probably be the only video that I'll make um, until things escalate more than they already have. I am very much a real person. All of those things very much happened to me. I have very much reached out to the police department. I don't owe anybody an explanation as to why it took me so long to come forward. My parents allowed him to sleep in my bed because they looked at him as a child. My mom felt as if she had really given birth to that kid. Like she loved him very much. Both of my parents did. So that's why he was there in my bed as comfortable as as we were in my household and that's it to the people that support me and and believe me because it is very much true i appreciate you and uh i just thank everybody for for listening to my story and as things progressed in detroit it seems that she ended up just becoming someone that he could pass around to friends, which she names a lot of former players, which, as Eli well, she mentioned, alleges, yeah. she how, says Joel Zumaya. How's she a sister if she's white and he's black? Well, I think... Well, adopt, yeah. I don't know, okay. adopted, uh, whatever. Like a sister, then. <clears throat> yeah. Because in her initial statement, she says, uh, you know, he is not my brother. He is my rapist, my pedophile, my child molester, my, my deepest, darkest secret, and I'm tired of living with it. 
And what he does, uh, this thing is weird. And this thing with his kids, yeah, I don't know if he's there. It is so cute at the end, and he seems like the absolute greatest dad you would ever. And maybe he is a great here, like this. He could be a, he could be a good father and a yeah, bad person yeah. too. I mean, there's a lot of things that could be going at the same time here. But also the fact that the Tigers put out the statement that that ended with further questions should be directed to Craig Monroe. That that was a weird statement. Like, why would they say that? Well, then why is he suspended gone? and not fired? Right. It's true. I mean, just well, because they're, they're they're asking him to prove that this is not true. I think that's what they're doing. No, I know, what? but then why direct all questions to him? Because I mean, I, it sounds to me like they're not helping him out here. And Bree, they fire fired him. Jack Morris over and saying uh, very <laughs> carefully, if you remember that. <laughs> right. This is a lot more serious than that. She says in 2011. Very, very, very careful. Well, I, I mean, he did say it, and this is her allegation. Believe me, I don't want to defend him by any stretch of the imagination because there's a lot of smoke there, but it is an allegation made on social media, which, you know, right. we're not big fans of. No, I, I don't like it either. I, I'm honestly, the, if I had to say one thing about this, I would say, well, I'll say two things. One is that the fact that this is 25 years after the fact does not mean it is not true. Sure. But right. secondarily, we've learned that through a lot of experience. Secondarily, I would like to say, I don't know why we don't spend more time encouraging women to report this immediately. It seems like we spend a lot of time trying to understand why people don't do it don't immediately, write. but we don't spend a lot of time saying, you know, report it immediately. It, well, should, I think be a, it should be a campaign. You're right, it, and I, I think it is. I, th I think it has been a campaign. I haven't seen people during, saying it. I think, I think during the Me Too was explained why women have a hard time coming forward, and just because they didn't, it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. And we learned that with Weinstein and Diddy and R. Kelly and E. Jean Carroll and Epstein and all that. What, why didn't these... And not only that... But no one can ever get any satisfaction when they report it years later because, oh, we can't figure it right. out. And there's well, no then evidence. You have, then you have, like, the woman who um, accused Terrence Shannon Jr., you know, the Illinois basketball player, the yeah. Yeah. who was acquitted on his rape charges, and, oh, my God, did the Internet unleash on her. Sure. I mean, that's... I, I can understand why someone wouldn't want to come forward. Well, it doesn't mean that a lot of it didn't happen. Sure. It just wasn't, well, at the same wasn't time, proven. Or, we don't have maybe Craig Monroe happen. making a statement. He he's, he hasn't tweeted since May. He's right. he's staying silent here. She's already Which said that odd. she went to Fox 2. She went to Bally's. She went to the Detroit Tigers, and she's got no response. Well, well Fox well, 2 has known this yeah. since February, to Jan, June 10th, June 9th. Fox 2, have they done an investigation at all? Well, or they just decided, ah, I don't know. Well, well, yeah, Fox, great question. Well, I don't know. Well, that's right. If she, if she contacted them back she then. She tweeted it at them. Yeah. She deleted it. She put it out, deleted it quickly, but it was at them, Bally's and the Tigers. So Bally's, the Tigers, and Fox 2 knew immediately. They knew three weeks ago. She moved here in 2011, just after a pretty tough childhood, to live in them. We continued our sexual encounters. Then he continued to have me see his, quote, friends for money. Ugh. You know, Which, she mentions uh, Craig, his, his childhood friends, Craig Jenkins, Miracle Hendrix. There's a AKA Pookie. Sammy T, a.k.a. Gucci, so he's got some, and Joel Zavai, Gucci. He's, but then but again, you're based on your timeline that you just said, yeah, it looks like the Tigers are the only one who did any kind of investigation. We're like, yeah, you're suspended. Did they really do any investigation? Well, well, enough to talk to him, and I would, you would think, and to say, hey, you're suspended. Until was he suspended, or, he just, or is he just, did he, did he ask for, did he just leave? They say he's taking personal time right. off, and right. all okay. future questions so need to be directed to Craig Monroe. Right, which is not a suspension. So they didn't suspend him, then that no. makes it even more... But he's off the air. He's not doing his job. How does he come back? Oh, he doesn't. He's By done. suing the shit out of her. If, if this is if this is fifty percent true, he's cooked. He'll never be on TV again. Not only on TV again, but how about his family? What is his? Now you have his. his well, it wife, sounds like they knew her. Three kids. Yeah, it sounds like but the families are this, connected they to didn't each know other. This, this this part of her. Yeah. So obviously not. And I guess we I learned. Not, yeah. I guess y y you want to say, well, why didn't she say something? Why did she come live with him? Why didn't she leave? Why to wait till now? I guess they aren't fair questions anymore. Uh, because um, well, I think they're fair questions, but um, she does explain some of it when she says, you know, she went to Tiger's fantasy camp. Craig gave her a thousand dollars to go to a hotel room. In the room was an old white man in a wheelchair. A thousand dollars was a lot of money to me at the time, regardless of how wrong it was and how gross the man was. I went. Oof. Yeah. Who's this yeah. old white man in the wheelchair? Yeah, name him. Oh, Is Zumaya comment? Should she be? Um, should she be canceled for calling him gross for being in a wheelchair? <laughs> nah. She has, I think the By the way, she has very long eyelashes. We don't know who he is, Drew. Maybe he is gross. He probably is gross. Well, this, uh, Not because he's in a wheelchair. He could just be gross. Could period. be gross, yeah. This ongoing... Did she need to point out that he was white? Is that fair? Yeah.
Well, maybe that's maybe that's not her type. That's why he's cancel, gross. Can we cancel a lot of people here? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I know. I just want the whole story. Canceled. I do want the whole story. I, I do not see so a response bad. from Joel Zumaya. In fact, his Instagram is private. Well, that's interesting. Well, Joel Zumaya, she would have been an adult when she was paid to fuck Joel Zumaya, if that's what she's alleging, right? right? But wouldn't you make a comment if it didn't happen if you were Zumaya? Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird yeah. story. So maybe he was. Maybe he did have sex with her. Maybe he didn't even know she was paid. It, it, yeah, that's right. a good point. It doesn't it, it seems impossible that this could all be made up. It's impossible. <laughs> it, it seems pretty difficult to make something <sighs> like this up. What is, yeah, Why did she move to Detroit? Yeah. Um, well, mm -hmm. well, if he doesn't go to jail for this for a long period of time, his career is certainly over. I don't think he'd come back, no. he'd come back from this. Unless he you know why? Because he wasn't good enough, right, Eli? Yeah, he's not, he's not the best announcer. <laughs> so he was really good at what he did. Couldn't Benet, could Benetti come Marv back Albert? from this? Benetti? No. I, Marv Albert! Marv Albert came back! Yeah, but, that, but that was consensual sex, and this is a whole different thing. This is... This is was it consensual? Because... This, this, is, this is statutory yeah. rape. Raping a tw uh, somebody under 16 years old. Having sex with them is Wait, statutory Marv rape. Marv Albert's uh, accuser claimed that he raped her. Yes! He said, uh, uh, yeah, just, right? I, th I, th I thought she, she just said All he was... All the sodomy that was committed the was volunteer. The cab driver said the sodomy was consensual. All oh, the sodomy that was committed was volunteer. That's Marv Albert's best best witness. <laughs> oh, God. Remember he bit her? I played show tunes? Were, we're laughing about this story. Well, well, he was too a, much. No, 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 laughing about that story. We're laughing at the cab driver. Uh, it is interesting that Joel Zamaya would say... Not laughing. It's not fun. Nothing. <laughs> But I, I'm more fascinated that the media says nothing. Well, I think nothing? you're going right. to... Nothing. Tomorrow's papers, which would be Monday, we're recording this Sunday, ought to be filled with this in some way, shape, or form. They well, should be filled today. Yeah, this even now. Since Friday night. Even, even the online publication should have it. Somebody should have it. But when you, uh, when you Google them, the only stories that are brand new are, hey, where's he been? Personal matter forces Craig Monroe to step away. There's where's one Craig website Monroe? that is talking old. about it. And they're just talking about it. They're just saying, yeah, this post came out. But I... I can't, is the for the ticket? life of me, understand why no one would even say, I wonder if the yeah, ticket. there is a weird story going on here. I wonder if the ticket's brought it up at all. I don't know. I, you know, I listened to the ticket yesterday for a while. I didn't hear a word about it, but I don't know that they haven't. And maybe it isn't. That, now, I didn't see it until Brandon sent it to me, and then a guy, a friend, old friend of mine at Channel 4 sent it to me. Uh, I know people that knew about it Thursday, oh. before she even put this out, because some people had actually had access to the... <laughs> the small statement she originally made. And what, what I was told on Thursday is exactly what this post is. And, uh, I, you know, and I, honestly, when, when I heard this on Thursday, I thought, oh my God, that, that can't be true. That's impossible. And then June, boom, there's the post. It's exactly as I heard it on Thursday. Yep. So people knew about it because Fox 2 knew about it. So you can't tell me people at Fox 2 aren't at least talking to people they know about it. I assume there's, uh, they're furiously, it's like the duck, they're, they're just, they're, the legs are moving furiously under the water. He's obviously guilty to some degree because innocent men don't hide. Yeah. When will he surface? Where are you, Craig? Where Come is on, he? I want to about... talk to him. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, maybe he thought this would blow over because she took the post down so quickly. I mean, it was getting around, but nobody had done anything in the media. In fact, no one to, at this moment, I'm starting to wonder why we're talking about it. Because if we're talking about it and nobody else is, are we doing something wrong? I mean, it's, it's well, all I mean, over Twitter. A lot of it's speculation, and it's all over Twitter because she but, put the post but out. But you don't have to speculate on it. You can simply record the fact sure. that she said this, right. and he has said nothing. I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because everyone's talking about I, it. I agree with you. Mark is really getting into journalistic integrity and, and multiple sources. And you and I are saying, you know, you got. You can I mean, say, you want to give him uh, time to respond. Whether uh, well, he's had, he's had three weeks. When you call him sure. and you have his number and he doesn't respond, and multiple people do it and he doesn't respond, she that's also, part of the story. She he's also not, said she reached out to the police department down there, so you'd like them to get some comment as to whether or not there it was reported. Well, they've had three weeks. Fox well, 2 no, has but had her story's weeks. new, right? Well, okay, so no, 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 her post is three weeks old. She posted it and right. took it down, but she sent it to. 
Bally's, the Tigers, and Fox 2. How quick did she take it down? I'm surprised well, it didn't very pass, quick. Since pass it's, around then. Since it's her word against his word, because there's no videotape, and this I happened just, I've, I've, years ago, so you, you, you wonder, you have to get, what are these other people going to say? There has to be some denial or corroboration. There has to be... Well, then you say no one commented. No I find one it hard comment. to believe that the media is protecting Craig Monroe. No, nobody's going to... No, protect. she even tagged Natalie Kerwin no, and I think Johnny the is just being. I think the media is just being weak. Warren I just think they're being wimpy. And I think anybody from Fox is not going to want to, you know, the Johnny Canes, or if I put no, myself in there, they're not going to say shit because he's their, he's their partner. But what, okay, I, I don't mean to pile on the Johnny Fox Canes 2, in the world we're talking about. Fox 2 was, yeah. this is directed at Fox yeah. 2 on June 9th. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, knowing that place, they probably shouldn't see it. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, not many bodies over there, I guess. No. Oh. No. And well, who knows well, who's manning their We don't Twitter. have a lot of bodies here either. And who knows how many times they're getting tagged. Well, I'm just saying she put it up and then pulled it down. No, she she tweeted it at them. They got it. Yeah. They got it on their feed. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What's the over under? No, I'm not, I'm not I'm not begging for it to be the truth. It is it's either is or it isn't. They did they wouldn't it didn't if she says at Fox 2 Detroit. Oh, they definitely got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, but how many people do that? And I, I wouldn't be surprised, knowing how short-handed they are over there, that it got lost in the shuffle, and especially if she took it down. Well, this how can that get? How can a story I don't know like how, that get lost in the I, shuffle? I, I don't know. No excuse, there's Hold no on, excuse for it. Time out. I don't know how no one reports on this. No one is reporting. <laughs> That's bizarre. It's fucking oh, yeah. bizarre. Because I mean, right. and, and if it's so, if they're so right not to report on it, then why are we talking about it? Then we're wrong. To be talking about it, we're just stating no, the fact. We're, we're, we're not a media. We're not a news agency. What, what does a news agency have wrong when they say this person posted this? This person is not available for comment. What is wrong with that? That is not. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Uh, that right. And you also say this is uncorroborated. We haven't heard from any of the principals involved. It's a powerful statement that she made. There is some suspicion here, but the way Bally has responded and the way, the fact that Craig Monroe has dropped out of sight. Maybe his family has been called. Has his wife said anything? What's I mean, if people are telling me about this and it's word for word what was repeated on. Uh, the other, yesterday or two days ago, then people know about it. People are talking about it. I know one media outlet that knows exactly what this is, and they have not said word one. And what I heard was, eh, well, you know, what, 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 what are you referring to? I'm not referring to. I'm not going to say what I'm referring to, but I just know that their feeling was eh, just <laughs> like, <laughs> well. Do we really want it? What, too salacious? Too well, salacious? It depends how the topic comes up and what type of news outlet it is. You're not going to lead the it's news. It's a news outlet that could have talked about it. Okay. Trust me. All right. So what's the over-under on when we hear from Craig Monroe? Will it be? This week. Oh. This week? Yeah. I'll have an attorney uh, put out yeah. a statement. Exactly, and, yeah. You know, if if he did nothing wrong here, I mean, what it, if he did nothing I feel wrong, horrible you, for him. You would have heard from him already. From already. In yeah. fact, you would have heard, heard from a lawyer we heard about this post. You would have said this is going to. They would have had it ready to go. Yeah. 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 I want to believe that. I just don't. I don't know. I, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine why he wouldn't say something. I have a funny feeling he was hoping this would blow over. I don't know what else. What else could he possibly be doing? Why wouldn't you issue the standard denial anyway, even if you did it? Well, it would have blown over until this weekend when she put, put the post back up. Listen, he could be. Well, I think she was unsatisfied that uh, yeah, sure, she didn't Fox get a 2 didn't do anything. I mean, really? she's counting on Fox 2, obviously, to carry the mail. He could be on suicide watch right now. This is something. This, Who knows? this, this is this is a, a, a an image that is the exact opposite of what he is. He's a family man. He's a sweet guy that everybody praises as being a wonderful guy and a, a great personality. And and uh, you know, it's just. I know it's, it's people scary. that know him very well. They really like him a lot. I've met him a couple times at charity events yeah. that he was giving his time to, and he was absolutely perfectly nice. 